Hi, I want you to stop for a minute and just get out of your head. Inhale, block, exhale slowly, and then see how you feel. Because if life is reflecting me, who am I and how do I live in my body if my body is mother earth and it will be returned to mother earth how can i make peace because if you are living in your head and most of the women i work with do and you try to escape so have a look at your life where in your life are you in escape mode what do you do to escape? Do you want to escape your job? Do you want to escape from stress and you do something to escape? Do you want to escape from a relationship? Do you want to escape from the country or the place you are living? Just stop and feel. Escaping is running. So there are chances you have been traumatized when child we all have and you had three choices you know these choices escape fight freeze so where do you stand have a look at your life what stories do you tell yourself in your head so I want to let you know and let you realize that it is easy it is easy and not complicated to get out of the head and step into the peace and into presence how comes that this is easy very easy your body cannot live in the past cannot live in the future the only place your body is is in the present moment so when you reconnect to the body and just with breathing what i said before it's so easy then you get into the present moment, but you have to stop. You have first to stop because you will still be in your head when I tell you this. You will still be thinking and thinking is not the problem. The problem is feeling, being aligned, doing things so you stop and, and ground yourself, align yourself, feel how your spine is your antenna, feel how you have all this magic points in your body which can feel, which can give. It's all a symbolic. And when you make peace with this body, being a woman, life changes. Not only inside, but very soon also outside. So what I want you to do is have a look. There are several points in your body where it's very, very, very easy to get, just get in the presence. As I said, breathing is one. The other thing a lot of women do, I work with, they shut down here. They shut down here. So have a look. How do you sit? How do you stand? Where is it? These are the emotions. Just do like this. Get off the heaviness you have on your shoulders. Get free here. Strong here and shine and open here if you do just this whatever you feel wherever you are you step in the present moment and you will feel different and when you feel different you create a different reality you will talk differently you will discuss things differently if you can add to this the grounding you need to practice it you need to practice it. It is not something you can just, I talk, you just do it in the moment and then you forget about it again. And you go to the old habits of how do I walk around in my life? How do I, how, how am I being in my body? How do I embody my soul? And as everything reflects me, my body reflects me. My body has the memory of everything I have lived for, for the moment. If you want to trace this memory, it's also very easy to prove. Think of something 
would make you very, very, very sad. And soon you will start to cry even. Or think of something, it might be even the music, something which made you so happy. And you will have a smile. So your body is this wonderful, wonderful place where you can be immediately in the present moment and then make peace. And then, and then, let's have so much joy and gratitude. As long as we are on this Earth, planet Earth, as long as we are alive, soon it's finished for everybody. Soon it is finished. Soon your body will go back to Mother Earth. So for the moment, you can experience this human existence. And do this with joy, open here, let go of every heaviness and be in a, an emotional fluidity and make peace if you need help with this. Then I'm here, please take you to my website, shandora.life.life and take an appointment with me and let's talk, let's see how you walk in life. Let's see how, where you stand. Let's see how you embody your femininity and how you can take back your feminine power. This is what I wish for you. It's so delicious and you should have it if you don't have it yet. It is for you. It has been meant for you and we can work together on it if you want. Thank you for listening and see you soon. And this was my today's swing talk.